Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a very quick look at the 12Z bottle run, see what we're all showing in terms of this uh, normally blast for the uh, latter stages, the end of uh, November. So I shall get on that with you in a second. We'll go through the 12Z. Uh, and am going to be around 5-10 minutes. It's going to be a very quick video um, just running through. Just to say that first video re uh, release today was our 7am upload. We also have released, or oh, we did release, European Outlook as well as the 10 to 14 days. So check out all of the vids if you'd like to do that. Just so everybody please like, share, subscribe on those videos as well. Right, we'll have a look then, shall we? So we're going to begin with the UK Met Euro. Here we go then. Cold air will be starting to move in over the weekend. This is midday on Sunday, 12Z on Sunday. Um, with uh, winds in from the north north east, we will feel uh, temperatures becoming significantly cooler. Early next week, high pressure will ridge through the country. That will bring overnight frost. And then later in the week, high pressure will push out into the Atlantic um, and move northwards up towards Greenland. So we pull down uh, a pretty cold north or northeasterly wind there through the second half of uh, next week. Back to start to drive some uh, wintry showers into the north. If we look at the upper air temperatures, uh, with that we can see that uh, the coldest of the air just passing to our north and uh, northeast. But I suspect that cold air will sort of dig in, um, you know, by by 24 hours further on. Right, so so that's how the UK Met finishes. That's how, uh, as far as we get to uh, with the uh, UK Met then. Let's have a look, shall we, next at. Um, the GFS, so this is the GFS uh, midnight run, and enable a hover, and we'll see what this one is showing. So again, on Sunday, cooler air will be moving in from the north and from the northeast. Let's have a very quick look, see how this transpires. So uh, early next week, high pressure will slip in across the country. That will bring lots of dry weather, uh, probably with overnight frost, though. Then the high pressure will pull out to our west and will pull down a cold northerly wind through the middle part of the next week. Uh, after that, an area of low pressure developing around Iceland, you'll notice. So uh, this sort of modifies the cold, actually, uh, and pulls the wind back into more of an Atlantic type uh, flow for a while anyway. However, that low pressure is sinking south was through the North Sea, and as it does so, it brings the cold air back in. So it will be cool anyway through the um, second half of next week. And, and getting colder into the final weekend of November when winds properly turn into the north end, a proper northerly, northeasterly blast, um, you know, around days 8, 9 and 10. Beyond that, another little low is pushing through there uh, right at the very end of the month, that's 29th of November. Again, it's got a, a warm sector with it, so we'll bring milder air in, or less cold air in for a time. From the Atlantic, but again, that takes a very similar track which is diving into the North Sea, pulling in this northerly wind. That's a very strong northerly as well. That's like severe gale force northerlies. Um, they will drive in lots of heavy wintry showers into northern and east parts of the country. Generally, quite a cold and wintry looking final week to November here. It's not continuously cold, it's not severe cold either, but it is generally, you know, uh, quite a cold, wintry final week to November. Now, we're getting to the beginning of December, and it's a bit of a change um, with this GFS run as high pressure then starts to set up over France, and we start to bring milder air back in from off the Atlantic. So early, early December sees things turning milder as the winds go into the west. Let's have a look and see how that GFS operational run fits in, shall we? So we look at Hamilton Hempstead with the ensembles. There we go. So pretty well supported. We are in for an extended run of below average temperatures. Quite clearly we can see that, um, you know, above average right now. But those temperatures are going to drop over the weekend. And from the weekend onwards, right way through to the beginning of December, generally above average with the... Um, you know, with the upper air temperatures. And some quite cold ensemble members in there at times as well, between minus 5 and minus 10 and 850 APA. Combined with fair amount of precipitation, uh, there could be some uh, sleet and snow mixed in. Right, so uh, that's that one done. Let's have a look at the gem uh, next. So if you're enjoying this video, please just smash the like button. Make sure you're subbed to our channel. Thank you so much uh, for the amount. And drop a comment and say what you think about this and all of our videos. Right, let's go through uh, the gem. 
uh, to LZ Canadian. And uh, again, over the weekend, you'll find that high pressure point out to our west winds will go into a north northeast direction. First push of cooler to colder air coming in over weekend. High pressure slips in over top of the country. Uh, next week, that bring frost and fog and a high pressure pulling up out into the Atlantic, going up towards Greenland, allowing this trough to dig in from the north. That will bring colder air in from the north with that trough of uh, low pressure. And so as we move up towards day 10, the GM has us in a proper cold north or northeast wind. By day 10, possibly the um, high pressure should begin to slip a little bit further south, was maybe implying that if you go any further, which we can't, but if we could, implying that we might start to bring something a little bit less cold and wider around the top of the high, you know, from the Atlantic for the beginning of December. But certainly there's several days of cold northerly or northeast winds on offer with the GM, so very little change there. And then we go through to uh, Icon, which I can't see. There it is. Uh, right, so this is how the Icon is looking. Uh, again, we're going to find that cooler air digs in over the weekend and high pressure topples in. We'll give frosty nights early next week. Middle of next week, high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic and goes scooting off up to Greenland. And then we pull in this pretty cold and strong uh, northeasterly wind. So this is a little bit more sort of northeast to easterly. Uh, with the icon for the second half next week. It's still cold, but it's a slightly different wind direction. There might be slightly better um, prospects of wintry weather uh, with that rather than northerly, which tends to only affect coastal areas um, and the north. That might drive wintry showers quite well inland. I wonder what upper air temperatures are doing with that. So in the south, the upper air temperatures are not overly cold, but in the north, the upper air temperatures are cold enough to be supporting uh, snow. And those colder upper air temperatures would be digging further and further southwards with time as well. That's a slightly different one, the icon. And then let's have a look at ECM. Finally, that's been updating as we've been speaking. So we'll just finish off with that one. And here we go then. Again, starting off mild at the moment, but over weekend, cooler air will be digging in from the north. It'll turn cold. The first push of cold air coming over weekend into south next week will be overnight frost under high pressure. Then the high pressure again scoots off up to Greenland through the middle part of next week and that will allow this uh, area of low pressure to plunge southwards. So as it's low comes south, that's that southwards through the middle of next week. That brings heavy rain and behind it we pull in this cold north or northeast wind. That could bring an increase in risk of wintry weather into the north. That's how we look as we get uh, towards the end of next week as, as well. So, um, yeah, you know, for the south, we're struggling to get that cold air down, actually, with uh, with that ECM run. Got this area of low pressure to the southwest, but it's delaying the cold air getting through. For the north, no problem. The north is, is properly cold there and probably... Uh, wintry, have a look at the upper air temperatures and see how that works out. So so for southern areas, we do struggle to get that cold air through with the ECM. Maybe a little bit of a wobble going on tonight, actually, with this northerly. There could be a little bit of a wobble going on. Not in the north, no problem. North half country, but in the south, we might be wobbling a little bit with this. So look at the upper air temperatures. We never really get the cold air down into the south up to day 10. So a little bit of a wobble is taking place actually on this uh, northerly tonight uh, with 12Z and we should wait and see where things go tomorrow. But yeah, a little bit of a wobble there, particularly from the ECM, but also not from GM, that's fine. Uh, UK Met is okay as well, I think. But from the GFS and particularly the ECM, a wobble, getting that cold northerly down into the south. So we shall see what happens tomorrow um, and uh, and what what happens with this. Um, right, so uh, that should look at 12Z. I hope you enjoy it. Please smash the like button if you did. Make sure you sub to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gats well, this as well. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. And uh, we'll end it there. We'll be back with more tomorrow and we'll see how things are playing out uh, then. But for this 12Z, okay, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Have a good evening.